Hi folks, this is Tom with FrugalPreppers.com and I wanted to come out here today and show you my solar setup in operation. I don't have my charge controller yet, so I am charging the batteries directly off the panel, but since I have a 10 watt panel and 57 amp hours of battery, um, I, I don't think I'll have too many problems. I'm just going to kind of monitor the voltage and if it gets too high, I'll disconnect it. Um, and so basically I did come out here, we had, right after I put this up, three very cloudy snowy rainy days and I got really no sun at all and I was out here running uh, a drill and the light quite a bit off of the existing charge in the batteries and I didn't rain them down pretty good um, and so today we've had one good bright day of sun and, uh, and my 10 watt panel has really charged things up uh, I'm, I'm currently at just about 14 volts um, I got a nice bright light um, it's working well um, I did uh, plug into the inverter earlier, it ran a drill just fine. Um, I plugged my weed whacker in there and it runs my weed whacker just fine too. Um, and everything's working. This will be where the charge controller goes. I have my fuse here. Um, and the other thing I want to show you is a, uh, the battery bank here. Um, I did make one addition on my uh, wiring harness for safety reasons that I want to show you. Okay, so what I'm going to try to show you here um, it's just slide these batteries out a little um, and so you can see on this end right here I have another fuse the reason that's in there is it's on the uh, positive wire that from my solar panel charging uh, wire which runs up to the, the charge controller right now it's hooked directly to the panel it dawned on me that if I had a short in this wire somewhere in this harness in between here and what will be the charge controller that I'm going to have 57 potential amps trying to get through that short on this tiny little 14 gauge wire and that um, that's going to catch on fire long uh, you know before anything else happens so I did I, I, I didn't have any more 5 amp fuses I put a 10 amp fuse in there which is enough to stop fire from happening in case there's a short there again like I said before you can never be too safe you can never put in too many uh, fuses all right, so this is my solar panel right now. It's just hanging out here on this old uh, chair that I probably should throw away. Um, I did decide um, that before I uh, go to the work to um, uh, mount this up on the shed, that I would just try it for a little while, see how it worked, um, and see what the sun looks like in summer. Eventually, I'm hoping that I can just mount it to the side of the shed on a hinge and then put a piece of wood under it to make it tilt. It did move just a little here because I want to aim directly back at the sun. Um, it needs a little more angle to it just to get the optimum amount of solar charging out of that. Especially in the winter we don't get a whole lot of sun, maybe four or five hours a day it seems like of good charging time. Uh, one of the other things that I just kind of wanted to try to uh, show you here is that I have this string that runs up from my light um, and then it runs through a little eyelet comes on down runs through another eyelet I tied another string on there um, and then it comes all the way to the front of the shed and then have a couple washers tied on it hanging right there so what I can do is just simply turn my light off and on when I come in the shed um, without having to walk to the back first. Again, this panel was originally going to go up towards the front and the side, um, but it interferes with the sliding of the door, so I ended up mounting it in the back. And, you know, I did think about doing a uh, remote switch, running some wires, that kind of thing, but sometimes a piece of string and a couple washers and some stuff you have laying around in your toolbox. Sometimes the simple solution really is the uh, best one. Um, I just wanted to show you again real quick that uh, you know, this is running the, uh, the power tools. Um, turn the light on. Turn on the uh, inverter. This is my uh, drill which is plugged into the inverter. And it runs it just fine. One of the things I did do was uh, wanted to show you this. I found this little multi-tester. Uh, it was broken at my electronic surplus board. It was one dollar. I went ahead and it, 
I didn't have any probes for it, so I soldered in a couple of wires and a little jack. And the contacts on the switch were really corroded, so I cleaned those off. And it actually works great. And I am now able to, you know, come over here. I put a little piece of red tape on for my positive one. And I can use this to kind of measure the voltage on my batteries right now. And I am getting a good, uh, looks like 13, uh, good, like 13, 13 and a half volts. Uh, and I know I measured the panel a little while ago with uh, no load on it, and it was putting out like uh, 18 and a half volts. All right, folks, one other thing I wanted to show you real quick um, is just uh, a little deal I got at Harbor Freight. I thought this was great. They had this on sale for like uh, 3 or $4 dollars big pack of connectors. Um, that's much cheaper than you can buy them in a place like AutoZone. So I bought them. It's got uh, pins of eyelets, uh, the fork connectors, it's got the blade connectors, male and female. Uh, handy buy if you're going to be doing stuff with solar and with a lot of wire. Um, and then, you know, this was my uh, previous source of light for the shed. Not much light. I do still use it because it actually puts out pretty decent amount of heat if I close the doors and let this run for a while um, it's actually comfortable enough that I can kind of work out here without my coat on even in a cold day like today um, as long as the wind's not blowing real hard um, other than that this is my shed my solar panel thanks for watching let me know what you think um, I'll try to answer any questions or comments any of you have um, and I'm always uh, interested to see what people think and what uh, new kinds of ideas they might have that I didn't think of Thanks, this is Tom, frugalpreppers.com. Uh, please like and subscribe.